Scott Darbus. This is 93 Drive. Today we're driving the BMW X1 2022. Not only just any BMW, but one that is in the 93 fleet. After 17 months or so and 11,000 miles on the odometer, how has this BMW X1 held up? That's a very good question. When we took delivery, it only had seven miles and now here she is with just barely 11,000 miles. So with that being said, let's get this show on the road and I'll let you know how these 17 months have gone by. All right, let's get in. All right, push button start, obviously. One of the things I do like about this BMW is that it still has your traditional gauges up front. All the new ones have digital displays and so forth. And then obviously you have the infotainment system that works pretty well as a touchscreen as well. And then when you move that, obviously you dial uh, double climate controls, move further on. I still like that we still have a regular shifter here. We don't have just buttons like you do in most new cars. I mean, sports, eco-friendly, or the parking sensors. And obviously, as usual, typical BMW to control all the infotainment system. So yeah. everything's held up pretty well, really soft quality. Uh, every, like I said, everything is held in one. That was the other camera going off. Obviously we have panoramic sunroof on this car. So with all that, and I don't know if the camera can catch this, but the head up display is up there. So with all that, let's get the show on the road. All right, here we go, sport, that's what we do it. 9.3, let's go. I do have to say one thing off the bat. The engine's pretty peppy for a four cylinder turbocharged. It's got just enough grunt to make it entertaining and it's light enough so it is actually fun to drive. Here we go. It makes just the right amount of noises. It doesn't, obviously, it's not an M car, but it feels good and light. The steering is nice and thick. Like I said, all the materials in here are held up pretty well. Uh, there's a few things that uh, I will discuss in our final thoughts, but here we go. We'll go around some of these twisties. And let me tell you, it just always stays flat. Uh, it's always really reassuring to drive. And it's an entertaining little SUV, that's for sure. The only thing is when you do when you don't have it in sport, you do have a split second of turbo lag for it to turbos to spew up and then give it the power that you need. But other than that, it's pretty good. But if you keep it in sport, it stays right in the sweet spot in the RPMs and the turbo is right there ready to get you where you need to go at a good speed as you can see we're not pushing it obviously because we're not going to do that to the nine and three mobiles so let's take it down to our old spot we'll do a little standstill see how she's still running from a dead stop after 17 months and 11,000 miles or so so let's go find a spot For all the beans and all the marbles, throttle down. There she goes. She's not lightning quick and she's not supposed to be lightning quick because you know at the end of the day it is still a four slow turbocharge. But it does get going, it does have a slight hint, even though it is in sports mode, it does still have a small hint of turbo lag. You can't really kill that that much with some of these four cylinders. Well, there you have it. Yeah, it's still holding up pretty well. And when it comes to uh, in traffic, when you have to merge, it's got plenty of power when it's the it's higher up in the RPM range. So, with that being said, let's go down a little bit down the road, and we'll do our final thoughts. All right, here we go. 
2022 X1 BMW. Overall, the last 17 months have been pretty easy. There have been a few things that obviously this is a German car and it has a few little quirks in f that like most German cars do. Well, this one, the infotainment system works pretty well, but when you have two phones hooked up to it, it goes a little bit crazy. Same thing, you, it's always good to just carry one key, not when both applicants are in the car, you have both keys, it also gets a little bit crazy. So, with that said, always make sure that you have one key, otherwise, whoever's driving, the setting's not for there, and so forth. Same thing, you know, sometimes the Apple CarPlay gets a little bit crazy, and you have to completely reboot it. So those are some of the quirks that I've, that I've found um, in, in this BMW, but like I said, it's a German car, so they all have them. Uh, everything else has held out really well. Uh, most of the miles on this car have come from trips, so we have packed this thing to the gills. We've taken it to the country, we've taken it to the beach, and it's been through snowstorms, and it has always held up pretty well. Huge rides on the highway, good fuel economy. I mean, it's, it's pretty much, it does exactly what you want it to do. It's got the back, the back you can carry a lot. There's also a little tray in the back that you can open up. You can stow more things in there. So overall, it's held up pretty well. Like I said, I do like the fact that it's still all classic BMW with the classical style buttons on the steering wheel. Same thing with all the buttons on the dashboard itself for the climate control and the shortcuts for the entertainment system as well. And I also do like the fact that it still has the traditional analog gauges up front. Although the only thing that I that it's um, that I wish it, it was still lit up in red instead of lights up in white, but at least it is still the old traditional and the mirrors are pretty good they do fold in so that way they're doing tough parking situations you know it's easy to just fold them and get them out of the way other than that it held up really well it's been a pleasure having it for the last 11,000 miles or so so i'm curious to see how it's going to continue to hold up and then we'll see what else will come down the pipeline a big big thanks for everybody who has subscribed if you're not haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting to do do subscribe give it a big thumbs up comment obviously comments always do help but let me give me an idea of exactly what you guys want to watch and more importantly make sure you turn on that notification bell ding that way you know when the next video is coming up we do have some other cool cars coming up pretty soon around the corner so, if you have not followed me yet on uh, Instagram, do follow me at Ed underscore Dervis, where you can see pictures of cars that I've posted and other cool cars that I end up finding around the, around the road. So, loving on. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I can't wait to catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Until then, bye.